day, our wonderful listeners. This is another session of Lenten Talk brought to you by Hoa's Memorial Methodist Cathedral, Yaba, Lagos. My name is Very Reverend Yinka Olatunbosu. Let us pray. Our Lord and our Savior, we thank you for this season. It's a time for us to get close to you. It's a time for us to know who you are in our lives and to walk in your path. And so, Father, even as we start this journey of the Lenten season, Father, lead us and guide us, teach us and direct every step in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God's word for us today is putting God first. Putting God first. And our text is taken from Colossians 1.18. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn of, from the dead, that in all things he might have preeminence. God must have preeminence in our lives, not only during this Lenten season, but all through our lives. We tend to worry about things that will happen to us, but when we put God first into our situation, we'll see that our situation will change. In Matthew 6, 31 to 33, it says, Take no thought for what you shall eat or drink. Verse 33 of that Matthew 6 is seek ye the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness and all other things would be added to you. What are you looking up to God for at this time? I know we have prayer requests even as we are believing God for this Lenten season. For us to put God first, we must acknowledge him. Proverbs 3, 6, in all thy ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. As you put God first, God will direct your path. Apart from putting him first, make sure you live a life that is holy. Make your body a living sacrifice. Putting God first means putting him above all other things. We all remember the story of Mary and Martha. Mary was there. That was in Luke 10, 38 to 42. Martha was there concerned about the cares and the food and all, but Mary was there to learn at the feet of Jesus. This Lenten season, make sure you attend Bible studies. Make sure you attend the Lenten season service. Make sure you seek the face of the Lord and God will direct your path as you put in forth in your life in Jesus mighty name. How can we put him first? We put him first by ensuring that there's no sin in our lives. We put him first by living a life of faith. We put him first by being in a life of obedience, leading a life of obedience. The Bible tells us that obedience is better than sacrifice. We put him first by forgiving our neighbors. This Lenten season, my brothers and my sisters, you put God first, love him. Let him direct your path, put him first. Be still before him. Read your Bible, seek his face, direct him. Deuteronomy 6, 5, And thou shalt love the Lord your God with all thy heart and thy soul and with all thy mind. As you love the Lord, he will bless you. More importantly, for you to put God first, you must have Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Are you under the sound of my voice? You are here to have Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Right now, I want to pray with you that Jesus take complete control of my life. I put you first in my situation. I rededicate my life to you. Jesus, take complete control of my life. Jesus mighty name. If you say that, God will see you through as you put him first in Jesus name. Worthy is the Lamb. This Lenten talk is brought to you, Katsi, who was Memorial Methodist Cathedral, Yaba. Worthy is the Lamb. Hallelujah. <music>